AJ Lee versus Paige for the Divas Championship. I was not too into this match. I thought it kind of sucked. And uh, I'm very glad that AJ Lee retained the title because I didn't want to see just another switch between the two and then another rematch between the two because I'm tired of this. I've seen it. Uh, they've done everything that they can do at this point. There's no more use for me in having any more matches. They've already maxed out whatever good stuff they've already uh, gotten there. Whatever. Uh, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying here. So, Wago, oh, your thoughts on the Divas Championship. And since we are continuing this uh, trend of where do you want to see this go from here, who should be the next Divas Champion after all this is said and done? I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's two types of Divas. The ones that don't suck and then the ones that can just about wrestle. And that's the case <laughs> to the... That's optimistic. <laughs> yeah, the, that these suck and the ones that are... Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's the reality of it is. I know people like to sing these girls' praises, but they're not exactly lighting the world on fire, and I think they're both overrated. AJ is just beloved because she's got a bit more character than everyone else. I think the and... AJ's lighting it up. Light it up, light it up. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> that was Tony quality. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not overly impressed by these girls, and... I'm just not a big fan of women's wrestling, and I know people like to get a boner over that shimmer stuff, but I'm just starting to think all women wrestling sucks. TNA sucks. WWE sucks. NXT depends who it is. I mean, Charlotte's the only one that can fucking do anything. Bullshit. Bailey's not too Yeah, Bailey can Bailey hug. kicks ass. Yeah, she can hug. <laughs> Bailey's gonna hug you. <laughs> That's one of my favorite chances they've been doing for a while. Hell yeah. Now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm just so indifferent about women's wrestling to the point where uh, <coughs> it's one big pile of shit. You're a freaking sexist pig. Yeah, well, maybe if they learn to fucking call a spot without botching it, I won't be a sexist pig. Well, maybe maybe you could support them rather than cutting them down. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, we go, come, come on! on. <laughs> <laughs> they want equality? Well, learn to wrestle, wrestle fucking equal to the men, you bitches. Well, how are they going to get better if they're not Whoa. given time? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take that darker. I mean, do you not watch Total Divas? They get all the time in the ring. I love when uh, in Total Divas, by the way, when they advertise it as, oh, I've got this big match coming up. And then like, <laughs> it's not super it, it shows that superstars are fucking made event. <laughs> <laughs> but they like try to like frame it to where you can't see that it's that, and they sort of make it seem like they're uh, having this big important match on Raw or pay per view or something like that. Even Marie's like, maybe I'll win this time. <laughs> oh no, that's Rosa. I was in Rosa. I keep forgetting. No, like, fucking all interchangeable. Rosa is the one that's like, I I'm really doing much better now. I figured out how to step into the ring. <laughs> maybe I can, you know. Try to attempt to pin the ball. Apparently, I don't. I learned something today. I don't close line with my foot. <laughs> I'll get him next time. <laughs> that was still so fucking sad. This my goal is to win a match at some point. It's scripted, and you still have to be like, "Oh man, remember that one day where I won a match?" <laughs> Just telling all the ladies out there that I'm having nothing to do with this <laughs> sexist speak. Hey, that's not sexist. That's just rude. Just so everyone knows that Payton is actually the whole reason this Gamergate thing is sexist now. He's all behind it. (laughs) It would be equally sad if Bo Dallas was going out saying, I can't wait until I win a match. (laughs) So, Payton. Fuck women, right? (laughs) (laughs) Agree or disagree with Wego? Matt, what do you think about this whole Divas Championship thing? Are you disappointed that Paige didn't win? I'm pretty disappointed. I, I think in the stretched out version of time, she should hold this title going forward. But I, I don't really know what AJ's commitment is going forward either. I mean, if AJ plans on sticking around for a while, you know, maybe we can have a, an extended AJ babyface run with that title. But um, as long as Paige stays something relevant, which it looks like they're going to continue to try to have her as something, they, they brought her on to the Total Diva show, which... At first, I balked at, but depending on how they play her character, it, it could be fine. Um, I mean, it's not like I watched it anyway, so it doesn't really impact me too much. But 
just judging off of how they generally treat the women who are on that show on Raw, I didn't want Paige to get caught up in that. That that's what I've been worried about, but we'll see. Uh, the match was definitely not their best one. I understand people who are not uh, singing its praises. I, this is not the one that I would say, oh man, you got to check out the Paige AJ feud. This is not the match I would recommend they see. Um, I can't tell you exactly which pay-per-view it, it would be the one that I would recommend. I, I think it was their very first one, not the their first really serious one, obviously not the one that they had night after WrestleMania. That was not going to be the one I recommend either. <laughs> Although maybe, why not? Shit. Um, because Paige fucked up her finisher. Yeah. That was actually AJ's fault, just saying. What the fuck? It was first night in the job. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, AJ, you fucked up. Yeah, Paige. <laughs> <laughs> first night in the job, and AJ fucks up? What'd you do, Paige? <laughs> um, you know, maybe these girls just don't have chemistry. You know, as much talent as they both are, maybe it just doesn't work, you know, because... Honestly, uh, I liked the the matches that Paige has had with AJ, but not as much as I liked the match that uh, I saw with Paige and Emma. That match was a lot better, and Emma fucking sucks in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> we were at least not voting for her with her uh, chewed gum. <laughs> no, um, but you know, I still say the Divas division is looking bright. I mean, we got a few good girls coming up with Charlotte and uh, Bailey and Sasha Banks and uh, who's, who's the Irish broad? Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they all come up there. They're really cool. <laughs> that was a cackle. What the fuck? Wake up. I've been doing a lot of that, haven't I? Yeah. You're like evil in this segment. <laughs> um, as far as who I think the next Divas champion will be, I, I, I don't know if they plan on holding it on AJ all the way up until WrestleMania. Maybe one of the, the one of those NXT women coming up again. Like I'm saying this for a lot of these titles. Like I said that for the US title, I'd probably say the same thing for the tag titles, uh, and I, I would say for the Divas title too. Like I would say AJ holding this on until I don't know if I would do it for Charlotte. I would give Charlotte the chase, but maybe like um, maybe like uh, they just turned Becky Lynch heel, but I would say Sasha Banks. She's a really good heel, so I would do it with her. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> happy days <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> oh I miss Sean hi Sean I know you're uh, listening hi Sean come back Sean we miss you uh, with oh, your commentary on the Divas stuff here Jesus Christ stay up with us um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to point this out because I know uh, Sean definitely would have Paige's ass looked damn good on this night yeah, she's, diff- a, she's a fit bird <laughs> Something different about the shorts she was wearing, or maybe she just did, did some extra squats, but damn. So, Drew, what did you think about this, <laughs> and uh, who would you like to see defeat AJ for the title? I was not pleased with this match. I thought it was just, like, a bull. It was definitely their worst match out of all the matches I've seen them have. I've always thought Paige was overrated. You know, she... I In NXT, she, I saw some good matches from her, but I also saw some... Way to shit on stuff. women's rights, Drew. I saw some <laughs> matches that were just, eh. Just eh. So, I've never thought. I thought Paige was definitely overrated, and I, we did that divas competition. I just think people just like her because she. Everyone thinks she's like a, a prodigy and that she's this amazing wrestler. I do not see that at all. I see a good wrestler. True, true. It's not amazing. She she's twenty years old. Except she's a, she's been wrestling for like thirteen for since she's like thirteen. I just think people. But she's still just, young. I mean, there's only so much you could do at that young of an age. Except people. Except people were talking that she is already one of the best re- female wrestlers of all time. She when is. I saw her. She of I all mean, time. I no, but in the current roster. She on the current is. roster, yeah, but she, people were hyping her up as like the best thing ever, and I did not see that. Which you is could pick up a pebble and draw a pair of tits on it, and it'd be as good as the rest of the fucking roster right now. <laughs> but um, pick up so, a pebble and draw and what? I, <laughs> anyways, what's even though that sounds fucking amazing. Anyways, <laughs> back, back to what I'm saying. Um, uh, just uh, the same with AJ. AJ's overrated too. I think she's good, but she's not amazing. And she has that CM Punk thing where oh, she's dating CM Punk. She's the best thing since CM Punk. Which who the yeah. fuck says that? What uh, the forum have you been on? Have you been Down Syndrome? I'm just saying. <laughs> You're just really, uh... <laughs> just <stop. laughs> Waco's not getting a lot of fans out of this, I'm sure. 
<laughs> you know, he's, yeah, getting, when he's I say getting a lot of... When I, get, when I say horrible, cynical things, people like it better anyway, so... It shows the type of fucking fans we have. I was just gonna say, you're getting a lot of support from our fans, but anybody else who's listening for the first time is like, this fucking Waco guy. Yeah, just watch this stuff. We're finally gonna get an angry woman comment, and it'll be because of me, but she'll fucking, like, not give a shit about any of the Divas tournament where we said they had chewed gum faces. <laughs> Just watch, I'll get the angry dog treatment. Probably didn't watch that. <laughs> well, now that you just called her a dog. <laughs> uh, so, it's um, overrated is essentially what you're getting at, Drew? I think they're both overrated, yes. They're good, but they're not amazing, and they're not the best thing that WWE's ever had. Now, when it comes to go- moving forward, uh, I don't know what they could do, because... I, I don't really want to see Paige and AJ anymore, even though that might be the best option for when it comes to the match quality. I just don't want to see it now. So what I mentioned earlier, maybe do something where Brie wins the title sometime in the next 20-something days and she has to give it to Nikki. That, that I could be down with. Um, just like something like that could work. And by the way, I, we, I didn't, we didn't mention this earlier, or I didn't, but the pants that Brie was wearing, don't do that. That was terrible. <laughs> The pants she was wearing. Don't do that. <laughs> well, it was it was the pants with like all the holes in it. Like I was like, uh, that does not look good. But yeah, the match was very below average. I, I was very disappointed, and this was actually my lowest point of the night. I thought the Rusev match and the Miz match was better than this. So sucks to suck. Alrighty, guys, we have one more match to talk about for Hell in a Cell. Dan Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. And then we will do our Fantasy League updates. And then that'll be it for this episode. So stay tuned and click on the next part, everybody.